In this video, we're going to focus on finding the least common multiple using prime factorization. So let's start with a simple example. What is the least common multiple between 3 and 4? So a simple method that you can use is make a list. Let's start with 3. So multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and so forth. You can keep adding 3s. So multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and so forth. So now, which ones are common multiples of 3 and 4? 12 is a common multiple between 3 and 4. As we can see, it's found in both lists. And another multiple is 24. Now, which of these is the least common multiple? Well, 12 is lower than 24, so 12 is the LCM. It's the least common multiple between 3 and 4. Now, let's work on another example. What is the least common multiple between 6 and 9? Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. Go ahead and try it. So let's make a list. Let's start with 6. So we have 6, 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, 18 plus 6 is 24, and then it's going to be 30, 36, 42, and so forth. Now let's do the same with 9. We're going to have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, and so forth. So 18 is a common multiple between 6 and 9, and also 36. But the least common multiple is 18. It's the lowest of the two numbers. So that's going to be the LCM in this example. It's 18. Now how can we get the same answer using prime factorization? Factors of 6 are 3 and 2. Factors of 9 are 3 and 3. So both numbers, well, only 6 contains a 2. But in our least common multiple, it has to have at least one 2. Now what about 3s? How many 3s should we use? Should we use one three? Should we use two threes or all three? You want to use the most number of threes that's found in one particular number. In this example, we use the most number of twos that's found in one of the numbers, which is just six. The most number of threes that's found in one number is two threes. So that's what you want to do. We need to use two threes. Three times three is nine. 2 times 9 is 18. As you can see, it gives us the LCM, the least common multiple. Now let's move on to our next example. Try this one. 24 and 32. So build a list and also use prime factorization to get the same answer. Factors of 24 are 6 and 4. Factors of 6 are 3 and 2. Factors of 4 are 2 and 2. Factors of 38 are 8 and 4. And factors of 8 are 4 and 2. And 4 is going to be 2 and 2. So the prime factors, as we can see, are 3, 2, 2, and 2 for 24. And for 32, it's the 5 twos that we see here. So how many 3s should we use to find the LCM? The most number of threes that are found in any one of these two numbers is there's only one three. So we're just going to use that for the prime factorization. Now what is the most number of twos that's found in one single number? On the left side we have three twos. On the right side we have five twos. So we're going to have to use five twos. Five twos is basically two to the fifth power. It means you're multiplying 2 5 times. And 2 to the 5th power, we know it's 32 because that's where we got it from. So it's 3 times 32. 3 times 30 is 90. 3 times 2 is 6. 
90 plus 6, that's going to be 96. So that's the LCM between the two numbers. Now let's prove it by making a list. Also, you can also uh, divide. 96 divided by 24 has to give us a whole number if 96 is a multiple of 24. When you divide these two, you should get 4. 96 divided by 24, I mean 32, the other number, is uh, 3. So that tells us that 96 is a common multiple between 24 and 32. Because when you divide it by both of these numbers, you get a whole number. Now let's make a list. So multiples of 24 are itself, 48, 72, and 96. Multiples of 32 are 32, 64, and 96, if you keep adding 32. As you can see, 96 is indeed the LCM between 24 and 32. Now what is the least common multiple between 12, 15, and 20? So pause the video and work on that example. Go ahead and take a minute. Common factors of 12 are 4 and 3, and we could break down 4 into 2 and 2. So therefore, this is the prime factorization, 2, 2, and 3. Factors of 15 are 5 and 3, and factors of 20 are 5 and 4. And 4, we could break that into 2 and 2. So these are the, the prime factorization of these numbers. So now, what is the LCM? So how many 2's should we use? The most number of 2's in 12 are 2 2's. There's none in 15, and the most number of 2's in 20 is 2 2's. So we're going to use 2 2's. The most number of 3's in any number is simply 1 3. And the most number 5's, so we have 1 5 here and 1 5 here. So we're just going to use only 1 5. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 15 is 60. So therefore the LCM is 60. So each number, 60 should be divisible by each number. If we divide 60 by 12, it gives us 5. 60 divided by 15 is 4, and 60 divided by 20 is 3. So 60 is a common multiple between 12, 15, and 20, based on what we can see. Now let's make a list. Multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. Multiples of 15 are 15, 30, 45, 60. And for 20, it's itself 40 and 60. So we can clearly see that 60 is indeed the LCM between 12, 15, and 20. So 60 is the answer. Let's try an example with four numbers. 8, 10, 12, and 15. So try that. Pause the video and work on that example. And then unpause it to see the solution. So let's start with 8. We could break it down into 4 times 2. And 4 is 2 times 2. So the prime factorization of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. 5, I mean 10, not 5. 10 is 5 times 2. And 12 is 4 times 3. And 4 is 2 times 2. 15, we could break it into 5 and 3. So now let's go ahead and find the LCM. So what is the most number of 2's that you see in any given number? So 8 contains 3 2's. That's the most number of 2's. 10 only has 1 2, and 12 has 2 2's. So the most number of 2's in any number is 3 2's. Now let's move on to 3. What's the most number of 3's in any given number? 12 has 1 3, 15 has 1 3, so the most number of 3's is just 1 3. What about the most number of 5's? 10 has 1 5, 15 has 1 5, so we only need 1 5. Now we know that 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 5 is 15. So 8 times 15 is the same as 8 times 10 plus 5. 
8 times 10 is 80, 8 times 5 is 40, and 80 plus 40 is 120. So 8 times 15 is 120. So therefore, 120 is the LCM. Now to check this, just to make sure it's a multiple of all four numbers, 120 is divisible by 12, it's 10, and we could divide 120 by 10, it would give us the other number 12. 120 over 15, that's 8, and 120 over 8 is the other number 15. So 120 is a common multiple of 8, 10, 12, 15. If you want to find out if it's the least common multiple, you can make a list, which is going to take time, so you know how to make the list if you want to. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.